bigger than mouth on that guy. The recent time I went to Fiji, I picked up one of these small scoping rods which I could just put in my backpack and packed in a couple of plugs. I thought I may, may do a little bit of fishing. I didn't realize how good the fishing was gonna be in Fiji. I actually ended up catching my dinner three times. Caught my first fish. Da -da -da. This is my first fish in Fiji. It's a barracuda. I think I'm gonna let him go. You can eat him, but I think I should just let it go. Barracuda are known to have cigatera, which is a form of uh, neurotoxic poisoning. Um, some some people, places I went said, oh yeah, you should you could eat the barracuda, and then other people told me you probably shouldn't eat it. So I decided not to eat it because I don't want didn't want to ruin my Fijian vacation with cigatera, a neurotoxic poisoning. One reason I love this little section of the clip here is not only that the fish looks like it survived, but just check out how clear the water is here. You can see the fish as he like goes away and you can see him clear even when he's far away. It's, it's amazing how beautiful the water here is in Fiji. Uh, so, it's moments like these when you come up to this edge of a giant sand dune. Look at this sand dune. By yourself. By yourself on a stretch of beach this long. Check it out. All the way down there. So on this day, I walked over these dunes. I had a cab driver drop me off in the village, and I had my scoping rod in my backpack. When I got down to the beach, I was just marveling at how beautiful these waves were. And I wish I had brought my surfboard. Anyway, I took a few casts and I hooked something and I reeled it in. I didn't know what it was and it seemed a little small, but it looked kind of looked like a mullet. So I, you know, I decided to throw it back. I kept fishing a little bit more and then I looked down the beach and I noticed that the fish didn't make it. The ocean had spit it back out. So I went and got it and I put it in my backpack. When I was done, I walked back to the, my cab driver's house, which is in the village, and I offered the fish to him. This is the fish. He said, how did you catch a fish? I didn't see you had a rod or anything. <laughs> and I said, I actually have one in my backpack. So he didn't want the fish. Um, and I would later find out, after I uh, posted it on Facebook, that this is actually a moi, what we call a moi in Hawaii, which is a thread fin. Moi is actually really delicious, so I decided to give it to the chef at the resort that I was staying at, and it came out excellent. Okay, here is the fish that we caught today. This is what the chef did with it. I know it looked a little like a dinosaur, but I can tell you the meat from this fish is tender, white, flaky, and oh man, it is so good. The chef did a great job of just, uh, I guess, gutting the fish, and there was a little bit of a sauce over it, but it really didn't need much, as you can tell here. I was stoked. I'm discovering one thing about Fiji, the fishing is really good. <laughs> I can pretty much fish my way and feed myself all the time. So I just caught up Jack, uh, which is familiar from my fishing days in Florida, but uh, I'm 
curious to see what they do with it here. So two nights in a row, I've caught my caught my dinner fishing. Um, here it is. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of food. It's the best. I've been eating fish nonstop, and so a lot of it I've been catching myself. Can't beat this. The next fish I caught was a black tip shark. I was behind a resort and walking along the shore, I saw a splash in the water. I casted my line, hooked it, and reeled it in. You might not be aware of this, but black tip shark is actually delicious um, and some steaks on the barbecue. But this guy was a little bit too small um, to keep, so I decided to just let him go. It was still a great experience. Beautiful fish. Had an accident. Hey, Ellard. Hey, so it's the last day here in Fiji, and the tide is perfect for fishing. And but my rod snapped right here, and so I had to like cut it, uh, rig it up by stuffing pieces into pieces to see if I can see if it'll work. So I still want to catch fish while I'm here. So you just took out that part? I took out several. I cut several notches off and just jammed one into the other. This is weird, this whole setup, but whatever, man. It's like the old man to see. Let's see if this will work. Best surprises so far in our trip to Fiji is how good the fishing has been. Here you go, caught something else. And this is totally edible. I think it's a grouper, but it's a little different looking than a grouper. And they said they're gonna cook it up for dinner. The fishing is really, really good. And it's so fun to like catch your, catch the dinner that you're gonna eat. Obviously eating fish is one of my favorite things. Look at the mouth on that guy. It's been great in Fiji. I've been catching my own fish, and uh, I'll give it to the, uh, you know, the resort, and the chefs will cook it up however they want. I mean, I'll do it Fijian style, all right? So here's my fish. Bula! Bula! Can you guys cook that up or what? Not a problem. All right. Sure thing. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the see you evening. Dinner. Okay. Yes. Thank we'll you so much. Yeah. Punaka. So every time I catch a fish and I turn it over, I basically just tell the chef, do whatever you want. And I always like to see what they come up with. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this guy comes up with. Here it comes, here comes the fish, I think. Here it is. Ula, ula. Ula. All right, good fish. Beautiful. Yeah. Great. You wanna use some? Yeah, you can take that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's that fish that I caught today. I guess the uh, he just sort of grilled it whole with uh, some, looks like some garlic and some cilantro. You know, good. Okay. Mm, there it is. Well, this is super simple, but that's amazing. That's as good as you're gonna get fish ever. Mm. 
in Fiji they they say that you should you should eat the head. It's considered an insult if you don't eat the head. But I like this little cheek part right here. That's the cheek part right there. Oh, went away. It's the best part of the fish right there. Delicious. I did thank the fish. His energy is now in our bodies. And the chef did an amazing job. Just simple, a simple way to do it. Uh, which is like steam it. He just stuffed it with garlic. And it was just with sand bran. Fiji fantastic. Fiji fantastic. For more great Fijian food adventures, check out these two videos. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us as we search out new authentic food adventures from around the world. I'm Chef Ellard, mahalo, vinaka, and thank you for watching. <laughs>